President Trump continues to roll back Obama-era regulations as he is set to sign an executive order today, allowing his Interior Department to review monument designations on federal land. Interior Secretary Ryan Zinke says that he will decide whether up to 40 sites should have modified, repealed or resized monument designations. He added that the goal is to better benefit public lands across the country. This comes after former President Obama set an all-time record with the number of designations that he made for national monuments. Only monuments with over 100 acres will be reviewed and the report will be due in 120 days. One America's John Hines has our report from Washington. In a controversial move just before leaving office, President Obama used the Antiquities Act to create a huge national monument in Utah called Bears Ears. Now many Western state members of Congress are happy to hear about President Trump's executive order calling for a review of the Antiquities Act and the Bears Ears and other monument designations. Our understanding is that the order is going to request a review of all the uses of the Antiquities Act to create new monuments over the last couple of decades to evaluate them. Uh, because anyone who has looked carefully at the Antiquities Act and carefully examined what has been done with the Antiquities Act to create new monuments over the last few decades knows that it has been abused. And a review of all the uses of the Antiquities Act could actually prove that the intent of the act does not match its implementation in recent years, says Utah Senator Mike Lee. When the Antiquities Act was passed about 110 years ago, the understanding was that it was there to protect uh, discrete uh, resources from imminent destruction. But over the years, it's been used for other purposes, for broader purposes. And those broader purposes include the creation of a national monument called Bears Ears in Utah that is larger than the state of Rhode Island, says Lee. If uh, a president wants to get something protected but doesn't have the votes to get it designated as a wilderness area or a national park or something like that, uh, the president might just choose to act unilaterally. And instead of designating a few hundred acres or a few thousand acres, uh, will designate something much larger. In the case of the Bears Ears National Monument, it was 1.35 million acres. Bigger than the state of Rhode Island, uh, bigger than the state of Delaware. That's a problem. A problem for which Lee hopes President Trump may have a solution. I'm pleased that he's identified this as an area of concern. Yeah. The fact that he's willing to re-examine what previous presidents have done with an eye towards saying, you know, is this really uh, within the meaning of the law, done within the uh, narrowest boundary possible, or is this an abuse? The fact that he's willing to do that is itself refreshing. Federal control of vast tracts of land, mainly in the West, have long been a source of frustration for local residents. Now President Trump's executive order may help change that. John Hines, One American News, Washington.